Hello fellow wazzers, welcome back. So we've got a brand new food review again. We've got another instant noodle, some prawn crackers, a drenched tropical drink, and a Barrett's nougat. If you've never seen one of them before, I will show you today. So, straight away, we're gonna get on with the instant noodle. It's a cocoa, original chicken flavor noodle. And we're gonna get into it, we're gonna see what it's like. It had three packets inside, as you may have already seen. So it had the oil seasoning, the uh, vegetables, and the powdered seasoning. Put all of those in there, 400 mils of boiling water. Put the cover back over, laid the old metal fork on there to hold it down and it brewed itself. So let's give it a try, let's see what it's like. So first off, it is quite watery. Very watery in here. A lot of water in this one in comparison to the others that normally cooks it off. But good for a soup for at the end. Nice to have a bit of uh, noodle soup, a bit of vegetable noodle soup. We've got some sweet corn, peas and carrots in here today. And then that chicken stock flavouring coming through. You look like some good noodles. So let's give this a try. Lots of steam coming off there, steaming up the glasses. So while I'm giving this a try, hit the old subscribe button down below and make sure you come back for more. If you are enjoying our food content on the Wazir channel, maybe head over to our Wazir food channel where you can watch some more episodes just like this. And it's only narrated for food. We don't share anything else on the Wazir food channel. So head over there and subscribe to that channel. And watch more episodes just like this without any of the running episodes, gaming episodes, or any other fun episodes. Or if you like the variety of life, stay with us on the Wazir channel where we'll have lots more coming up. So far, so good. Lots of steam coming off that broth, making the old glasses steam up. But really nice, lots of chicken flavour coming through. The veg isn't too bad. Just like any other instant noodle veg really, you know, a bit hard, hasn't really softened up just yet. Um, maybe needs more than just the two minutes the packet says it does. Maybe five, ten minutes would be better. Letting it really brew in there. But overall a very nice chicken taste is coming through. And the noodles, they're really good too. They're not getting stuck in my teeth, you know, they're not crunchy. They're not too sort of slivery as it were, they're just right. And you get plenty of those noodles in there. Plenty of them, plenty of noodles, which is a big bonus. Sometimes you just don't get enough noodles. This one, there's plenty in there. Definitely was approved for a lunchtime uh, meal. It would definitely fill you up. I haven't had too much of it yet, and I'm, I'm starting to feel that fullness coming through. Really yummy instant noodles. Really good. Again, this was bought by our local um, Chinese supermarket in the town of Pista. Really yummy, really nice. Really enjoying this. Now that is really, really good. Let's try some of that broth now. Mm. That broth is full of flavor. Really rich chicken flavor coming through. Really strong. But really, really good. Really, really nice. I really do like I would have to say this is probably the best plain chicken noodle soup I've had. Um, when it comes to the teriyakis and all of those sorts of things, I do like the cup noodle. That is probably one of the best. But for plain chicken noodle soup, got to be the Coca Original Chicken. Really, really good. Now let's get into some other stuff, shall we? Let's get some of that drenched drink. We've got ourselves some drenched drink here. It's the tropical drench uh, drink. They sell them over here in the UK. You probably get them as well abroad. A nice, still juicy drink, to be fair. I'm going to try this one, see what it tastes like. I've had others in the past. As a palate cleanser, very nice. Really rich tropical fruit flavours coming through. A lot of that peach, though, overpowering peach. You do get a few other flavours, but mainly the peach is coming through. Like I say, it is a still drink. This isn't fizzy. It's just a still watered fruity drink. Overall, very good. Takes away that chicken noodle soup taste from your mouth. You definitely get that tropical hit. 
overall very good drink for lunch. Get to the chewy nougat. Don't know how many of you may have seen one of these before. The nougat. It's basically a soft, um, what would look like a soft rubbery sort of texture. It comes with the white and the pink. Like I say, very soft, bendy. So that's what it feels like in your hand, maybe a soft rubber. Got some nuts in there as well. Some peanut. It is quite nice, quite chewy. But really good. Vanilla and strawberry flavour. A good sweet hit after a chicken noodle soup, I guess. Save some of that for later. But a very nice treat. And then we have the Oshi prawn crackers. So a long, thin prawn cracker. Got that rich prawn cracker taste coming through. Very different to obviously your takeaway prawn cracker. Still has the same sort of taste. Long, thin shape, so it's a bit more crunchier not as thin and laid out. Good, good crunch to it. Again, these were from the independent Chinese supermarket in town. And a really nice savoury taste that comes through after that. We had that chicken noodle soup, we then had that tropical hit, we then had the sugar, now we're getting that savoury hit. And it's not too overpowering with the prawn cracker, you sometimes get where they imitate it, they're really powering through. This one is a nice gradual pickup of the prawn cracker, but you could eat a lot of them over time. The more you slurp, the more it tastes better is what they've, been, what they've been telling me about Japan. The more you slurp, the better it tastes. So as an overall lunch, there's a package with my prawn crackers, my tropical drink, my nougat and my noodle soup. I believe this was a really enriched lunch, really good, really tasty good on the move if you need something quick. I could easily get through this 15 minutes and then crack back on with work again. So I definitely approve these. Overall a very very nice lunch. Being said guys this uh, episode is over. Please catch us on our next episode so please hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification and give us a big old thumbs up to let me know that you care. So till next time guys seize the day. Peace. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed these reviews. Let me know down in the comments below.